Howdy folks, my name's Damon from RC Scan Models and today I'm back with you to do another review on this one is from Accurate Armory or Arms it's their 148 scale David Brown tractor it's for the Royal Air Force and it's their tractor they use on the airfields for towing around small planes carrying bombs on the bomb trailer that kind of thing so it's an airfield uh, maintenance and crew tractor that you see on the airfield it, I have been trying to find one of these in 148 for a long time and I managed to find it by this company this company is new to me I've never built one of their kits before I've only just say heard about them they've been around for a while now and I picked this up it's reasonable price it's about 20 quid it's not a lot and um, the kit number is K48006 your packaging will come exactly how you see this one is in the box plus this is a resin kit through and through so if you're not familiar with resin um, I highly recommend you do a little bit of research because resin is toxic toxic, and you want to wear a mask when cutting and sanding you just don't want to breathe this stuff in because it's bad for you um, so you're going to get two bags of parts you're going to get your markings basic instruction sheet that piece of paper in the box is my uh, invoice so first of all we'll quickly go through these instructions so this is on the David Brown tractor a um, little bit of uh, information for, for the company and their web, web page and stuff so if you wish to go to and have a look I will leave a link anyway in the description but that's the web page to get your stuff from a little bit of warning about the resin and tools required and stuff if you wish to read that I pause the video but like I say just do a little bit of research on resin and then it gives you all your numbers for all your parts but it doesn't really tell you where they go so you're going to need a little bit of experience behind you just to understand where stuff goes but it's not difficult it's just you just got to pay attention um, so and plus all the numbers correspond down the bottom here what all the parts actually put the name the name of the parts so it's pretty cool for people that are not familiar what section of the tractor actually is and it tells you so good idea uh, we have a layout for your markings however in within the kit it doesn't tell you what color the tractor is i have looked on some reference material and there's a couple of these in museums they all seem to be RAF blue grey. Um, so I'm not sure. I may do it in that. And I may do it in olive drab because I have seen an olive drab one as well. But I'm not 100% sure how accurate it would be. Um, so, but we shall see. So within the kit as well, we've got your markings. So you've got basic stencils. These are actually pretty good. Also within the bag you do get a little piece of brass wire so just be careful you don't lose that I don't really want to take that out of the bag but the stencils look pretty good to me the carrier film is right up close they are very shiny but you've got your basic symbols you have got a US symbol on there so I just imagine the, uh, the Americans used the tractor as well on the airfields over here um, but again I'm not sure on that it only gives you the markings for the Royal Air Force ones. So as for the kit itself, it comes in these bags as well. Resin, 9 out of 10 is moulded in quite large sections. And they are do have plugs. You do have to remove. Um, these small bits coming out of the bag are overs. I do know that because I've already checked the kit out to make sure it's safe. This plug originally was on the back of the tractor here but it's come away and I've already looked it's not done any damage so this is the basic part of the tractor it's going to require a little bit of cleanup of where the plugs sat but this is the basic chassis engine block all molded as one part the engine is on the reference material it's the same colour as the tractor so I haven't got to worry about masking it off or anything so we could go ahead and just basically build it and spray it whatever colour the vehicle is going to be you do get sometimes some flash like this around resin so 
it does require a little bit of cleanup. It's not going to be a shake and bake. Um, for gluing resin, you can use super glues, epoxy, stuff like that. Um, again, you're going to have to remove this plug to get away from the uh, cowling. Um, once so you've removed it, this basically sits over there. Through what we get inside this bag are the rest of the parts for the vehicle. So we have this plug that looks like the back of the vehicle. We have this support piece that's got a funny angle that digs into the ground, stop the tractor being pulled when using the winch. So you're going to have to cut this center piece out. This piece here with the uh, hook on the bottom is the bottom of the tractor for towing trailers. So you're gonna, again, you're going to have to cut this square out and this part here. It's quite thin. Um, so it comes away, that one comes away. This is just basically an extra flash. You can see it's super, super thin. So it's, gonna, it's coming away nice and easy for easy cleanup. Um, this piece here is number 19 and this looks like where's 19 this is the seat this piece here is the, is the actual bench seat we have retractable tires and wheels molded in one piece so that's the front and back so looks pretty good it's nicely molded Again, you're going to have to remove the plug. We do have a uh, air bubble there. I'm going to have to take care of, but that's not not a problem. This part here is the winch, and it's got the cable already wrapped around. You will have to put the little piece on the end, which is the uh, part for towing, which which is this piece here, number twelve, that goes onto the uh, the cable. This piece here is exhaust, this looks like the battery box, steering wheel and the actual part for the steering wheel, the actual rod. These two parts here are the smaller wheels, the front and back. Again nice detail but sadly I've got another air bubble to take care of. But It's not that big of a deal. This part here number 26 is part of the dash so this sits behind the engine facing this way and the cowling will sit a bit behind there so this is part of the firewall type thing we have this long plug we have a couple of detail parts on here these look like levers and gear stick and stuff like that and the pedals for the tractor we have 14 and 15 and 16 which is according to the instruction part is 14 and 15 is the bracket for the winch and 16 is the back um, of the cushion for the seat as well so it's the back, back part you lean against here is part of the front axle and we have a couple of detail parts which is like 5, 6 and 7 which is lights I think 5, 6 and 7 7, yeah 7 is a light 6 is a light and 5 I cannot see number 5 I think they're all lights so that's it basically for the kit so yeah pretty cool so if you're looking for the tractor for your diorama especially for towing aircraft around or towing bomb trailers for a diorama for 148 air aircraft bombers especially like Lancasters and stuff like that check these company out I do have a another kit there's it's a uh, resin 
refueling truck uh, that will be coming up soon. So check that out. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you later.